Carl, Tony, I think your music is always very visionary, as we heard, uh, very cineastic, often like a very dark soundtrack. You made references to people like Elie Morricone, you were famous for that so-called jungle image. Well, I think the image hasn't changed, but the music is uh, quite different now. What visions do you have in mind when you write your songs? Um, it's a rather big question, actually. Uh, a lot of strange visions come in my head, so uh, there's not anything specific I can answer that. I'm, I don't, I'm not inspired by uh, much external, uh, no external ideas really. Most of it, I, um, I have to uh, know that it's me to believe in it. So years ago, obviously, people like Ian Mor Morricone were um, kind of interested, but um, I think that was a long time ago, and nothing seems to replace that. So. We've always drawn from our own ideas and uh, our own pictures. And we try to, we're trying to explore the visual side a lot more in the future and try and give people more of a picture of uh, what might be going on in our own heads so that they can uh, say I'm fucked up with her. I think you allow far more influences uh, from outside compared maybe to other Gothic bands. And uh, there's yeah, maybe even reference maybe to uh, Pink Floyd as far as I'm concerned, uh, like on the Elysium album. So in this case, I think uh, you're far more open uh, than other bands. It's your own. Do you see the same thing? Well, yeah, I mean, we haven't, we haven't exactly got anything to hide, you know? So, no, we don't mind talking about what we do, you know? That's all right. Was die Frage nach den visuellen äh, Umsetzungen angeht, also Ecki hat gefragt, welche visuellen Bilder die Nephilim im Kopf haben, wenn sie ihre Songs schreiben. Und äh, das sind seltsame Visionen, die sich nicht so einfach erklären lassen. Da stand sicherlich am Anfang mal was ganz Interessantes von Ennio Morricone zum Beispiel, aber es sind nicht unbedingt konkrete Vorbilder, die im Kopf abgehen, sondern äh, das sind eigene Bilder die jetzt in Zukunft auch wesentlich stärker visuell umgesetzt werden sollen. Also das visuelle Element wird bei Fields of the Nephilim in nächster Zeit sehr, sehr viel stärker werden, als es bisher war. The only thing is, we, when we've got something to say, it's only normally when we uh, are working on a project or we've got a forthcoming project happening. We generally uh, don't like talking otherwise, I think. Yeah, maybe it's because uh, you live and work very remote as well. I mean, does it have an effect on, on the music? Uh, I mean, surely it uh, creates a very mystic image because you don't talk very much to people. No, we don't talk very much to people. We prefer to uh, lock ourselves away and do what we do. It's the only way we're really able to uh, remove distractions and interference. Yeah, so uh, you don't necessarily want to know uh, what's going on. No, definitely not. We don't need to know that. We rather time just stand still and uh, we come out every so often and uh, have a look what goes on. Es ist so, dass in der Film in ganz generell nicht sehr viel sagen wollen, wenn es kein neues Projekt gibt. Also wenn eine längere Pause da ist, dann gibt es von der Film auch keine Interviews und keine großen Medienauftritte, weil sie sich eigentlich nur dazu äußern wollen, was tatsächlich in ihrer Musik passiert. Und äh, wenn kein neues Projekt ansteht und es keine neuen Sachen gibt, dann wollen, will die Band auch möglichst wenig Ablenkungen haben und möglichst wenig von außen gestört werden. Daher gibt es diese langen Ruhepausen zwischen Alben, wo man halt auch zwischendurch überhaupt nicht mitbekommt, was mit der Band eigentlich passiert. So that's maybe because uh, often there are big breaks between the albums, so the fans sometimes ask themselves if you're still alive. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know if we're still alive or not. Feel okay today. Uh, are you in contact or touch with your, fa with your fans uh, or not so much? Or do you want that or don't want that? <laughs> uh, are you in contact with your fans uh, or do you want that contact or, or do, do you maybe you think it's better to get away or to live your own life? <laughs> I think the contact with the fans just comes through the music, you know, so, you know, we don't sort of uh, hang out with the fans because, you know, because we. We keep ourselves to ourselves, you know? But we need our fans. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise we couldn't do it. And of course they came here today. I mean, um, uh, get in contact with, with the fans. Uh, there could be some live work. The last time you've been here, Carl, was in 1996, I think. Uh, when will there be another tour? Do you know that? Well, are there any plans so far? Was, uh, um, will there be a, a, a tour? 
Uh, I'll give thanks for a tour. The last time you've been here was 1996, I think, and uh, that's quite a long while. Well, I'll explain why that tour was cancelled, okay. but next year we will do some, uh, some gigs and hopefully some touring. Um, this year we didn't feel it was necessary. We didn't think it was necessary to tour this year or do any gigs this year until we had uh, established our new products. So uh, next year will uh, be good for us, I think. verstanden worden. Ich fasse es trotzdem noch mal kurz zusammen. Ähm, Eki fragte, ob bei den langen Pausen, die die Band ja zwischen den Alben immer wieder gehabt hat, da hätte es sicher für viele Fans immer mal wieder so diese Gerüchte gegeben, ob Karl überhaupt noch lebt, ob die Band überhaupt noch da ist und Karl hat daraufhin gesagt, na, also heute würde es sich jedenfalls ziemlich gut fühlen. Äh, und auch die Frage, ob er ganz generell, ob The Fields, wie die den Kontakt zu Fans halten, ob sie den Kontakt gern wollen oder ob sie sich lieber ein bisschen zurückziehen, haben sie gesagt, dass sie den Kontakt hauptsächlich durch die Musik aufbauen möchten und dass sie sich ansonsten eigentlich gern lieber ein bisschen für sich halten, dass also dieses Medienspektakel nicht unbedingt etwas für sie ist. Äh, ganz wichtig, es wird im nächsten Jahr, sagt Karl, eine neue Tour geben. Dieses Jahr gibt es eigentlich keine Veranlassung, schon Konzerte zu geben, aber fürs nächste Jahr wird es definitiv Gigs geben. Okay, uh, one can see that you are still very, very interesting for the people. Uh, many of your fans uh, see in you some kind of godfathers of the gothic scene. Uh, do you like that term or do you have problems with that? <laughs> godfathers or grandfathers? Uh? I think God, godfathers is that. Do you like the term or...? <laughs> okay, I said godfathers and grandfathers. I think you got it. I think, uh, okay, let's put it this way. I think there's a great uh, difference between uh, the British and uh, the German Gothic scene. I think whereas in England it was a uh, kind of fashion thing in the beginning, uh, here it is more way of life. So I think uh, uh, Germany is perfect for you in a way. Yeah, we, when we come to Germany, it's like coming home with the music, you know? So it's good for us, Germany. We, we, We like the scene here, you know? When we play here, it's like coming home. Karl hat zwar eben zurückgefragt, ob äh, Ecki mit den Godfathers, also den Paten der, der Gothic-Szene, nicht vielleicht eher die Grandfathers, also die Großväter gemeint hat. Ja, aber das hat jeder verstanden. <lacht> Trotz alledem. Äh, und dann die Frage danach, wie äh, die Deutsche... Thank you for coming, Tony and Karl. The famous last words, maybe, from your side. Es gibt ja nur... Es gibt, ja nur, es gibt ja nur diese zwei Stücke. Das ist das Einzige, was wir heute Zeit geben können. Bald wird es mehr geben. Wir werden hier mehr darüber. Ich bedanke mich bei Karl. Ich bedanke mich bei Tony. Thank you for being here. Adios. See you next time live on the stage.